Is there someone out there that looks exactly like you, known as your doppelganger? You may have one. I know that I do thanks to the internet. His name is Scott Huang. You may recognize him from Pentatonix or from Superfruit, and people have been saying that we look the same for years. Found out that this guy from ASAP Science is not Scott from Pentatonix. These are two different people. So we went to LA to finally meet Scott, my doppelganger. And do Circle DNA, who sponsored today's video, the world's most comprehensive DNA test to find out if we're related. We wanted to discover how seeing doppelgangers actually links to your cognition. And if according to science, everyone, including you, has a lookalike on this earth. We're gonna meet my doppelganger. Looks exactly like me. Actually, take off my glasses because he doesn't have glasses. Look how different I look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We are the wins. <laughs> the phenomenon of doppelgangers is related to biology. There are neurons that exist in your brain only to deal with looking at faces and fire only when you see other people's faces. They are known as facial recognition neurons. We have evolved these specific neurons because as humans, seeing faces is importante. They portray moods, emotions, behavior, sickness, and even danger. It's for these reasons that our brains become preloaded with these facial recognition neurons that fire really fast, but they definitely are not perfect. These neurons are why you suffer from the disease called pareidolia. You know, when you freak out because you see faces and things, such as clouds, a piece of toast, or bathroom sinks. Ah! This is your faulty facial recognition neurons at work. And since the neurons are designed to work fast, they also lack attention to detail. It's why when you see someone who looks like someone else in a similar context, you may confuse yourself and think it's that person. Since Scott and I end up in similar contexts, we both make TikTok videos, we both have done YouTube, we're both gay, and look freakishly quite similar, this is why your facial recognition neurons might get us mixed up. Okay, boys. How does it feel to meet each other finally? It it's like, really weird. It's weird. It it's really like weird. I'm meeting the brother I never had. I know, and I've always <laughs> wanted a brother. And he's rich. I, I see it more in person, which is why I kind of feel really weird right now. Like, I actually feel weird. I, I really like hanging person. out with you, but I'm like, I can't stop being like, holy shit. I know, it does feel like we're looking in a mirror. It's the face shape. But I don't think we're actually like related. No. Related. No. I mean, I hope. Imagine. That'd like, be so like, fun. That'd be so weird. It's like, which one of our dads is a slot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now. Now we are gonna go through our DNA and find out if in fact we are related because this is horrifying and we should be, I guess. Yeah, and I'm nervous, I'm sweating. <laughs> Me too, I sweat a lot, do you do? Oh my God, we both sweat? <laughs> Before we get to whether Scott and I are related, it's important to understand that seeing doppelgangers actually relates to your consciousness and your cognition for this reason. You are constantly seeing faces all day, at home, on social media, looking at TikTok, and your brain matches these faces to an identity without you even having to think about it. It turns out that a lot of your consciousness is based on predictions that your brain has made based on prior context. And our senses are there to back up what your brain has already predicted. You put a beer glass down and turn around. Your brain predicts that the beer glass is still there. So when you turn back around, your sight is just backing up what your brain has already predicted. A beer glass on the table where you left it. When you are subscribed to Scott on TikTok, your brain predicts, based on context, that you could see Scott. But then all of a sudden, you see a similar looking white gay guy talking to you down the barrel of the camera and your brain predicts, oh wait, that must be Scott. But yoo-hoo, twas me, your brain was actually tricked into thinking I was Scott. Your brain tricking you is why you left the comment that helps me find my potentially long lost brother, my doppelganger, if you will, which is a German word for double goer. And you don't necessarily have to be related to have a doppelganger, but truly, <laughs> is Scott my brother? <laughs> To find out, we use Circle DNA, the world's most comprehensive DNA test with 99.9% .9 analytical accuracy. You can do this yourself. You just have to activate your kit, take a saliva sample, return the sample to our lab, and the results are ready within 18 business days. It has tons of information on how your genetics relates to your ancestry, diet, fitness, and you get over 500 reports across over 20 categories. I learned so much about my body, my genetics, my fitness. It's so thorough. You will only need to do this one test in your lifetime. And if you go to circledna.com slash ASAP science, you will get 33% off all of the Circle DNA kits. You can click the link below to get one yourself. And now let's find out based on these kits, are Scott and I related? So we're gonna start by going through like our diet, like physical traits, genetic traits, like things that we might have similar, like can you handle spicy? Who knows? <laughs> and then we're gonna end with our ancestry and whether or not we're like fully, you know, like 
true have sisters. great great grandmothers that makes us sisters. Mm. I don't think I'm a super taster. Like like the like, flavors are yeah. so intense. I always like lie when like they're like, do you smell the oak and wine? I'm like, yeah. Like, but I'm like, one hundred percent. No, it smells like piss. <laughs> like, no, I'm not a super taster. It says I'm a super taster. Taste sensitivity. I'm a you super too. Taster. Wait, <laughs> that's not what we thought. Thrill seeker. Thrill seeker. <laughs> By thrill seeking, I mean like having a dinner with someone I don't know that well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's like, a thrill. <laughs> leave, leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thrill seeker. Thrill seeker. We're so much fun. No, I have horrible, horrible. appetite control. <laughs> Actually, I have an issue too at restaurants with food waste. Nothing can be wasted, so I eat. At, like if someone's like, "Oh, I'm done," I'm just like, "Eat it all, eat it all, eat it all." And I and I have such pride when they come. I'm like, "It's gone, <laughs> the whole table." <laughs> and I'm gonna throw up <laughs> in your bathroom later. I have low appetite control. I have low appetite control. Let's go. I don't have an obsession with washing. I'm actually dirty. I'm like, pretty dirty. My car is gross sometimes. Yeah, I don't have a car, but if I did, you wouldn't want to go I'll there. I'll spill a full McFlurry <laughs> on the floor and be like, I'll get it in a <laughs> couple <of> weeks. <laughs> Maybe cut that up. Less likely to have an obsession with washing and cleaning. Less likely to have an obsession with washing and cleaning. Am I highly sensitive to spice or I feel normal? I feel like normal. As a white man, I'm kind of impressed with sometimes. I don't love when things are like super spicy. Yeah. Like my friends will like all just lather in sriracha and I can do a sriracha moment, but yeah. I, I, I can't lather in sriracha yeah. and then just down it and be like, yeah. I'm good to go. I'll be like, damn, this sucks. Okay, what are you for spice? I'm high sensitivity to spice. Oh, I'm normal. Oh, oh no. sorry, brother. Oh, You're my younger brother all of a sudden. Can't oh handle my. the spice. Our skin right. similar. Skin I sister. <laughs> I don't like my skin. <laughs> I'm gonna say normal because I just can't say any of the other ones. <sighs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say normal. <gasps> my skin age is younger. Mine is younger too. Ah! We're babies. We're younger brothers. We're both younger brothers. We have an older brother. I'm gonna say gifted. Wow. I feel like math was easy going for me compared to everything. Oh else. my god, and you still got Grammys on the show. Oh my god. Well, they say musicians in math. Mathematical skills. Oh, that's embarrassing because mine's excellent. Oh my god. <laughs> like emotional intelligence. Yes, I have that. I feel like if I go into a room and there's like, you know, four very different people, I can like get on their levels. It's the gay thing. Survival. Oh shit. It's the gay thing. <laughs> Normal. I'm gonna say like less likely with my, I feel like I've learned it over time, but I was not an empathy queen growing yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> Emo, normal, emotional person, normal. Emo gifted. Oh. Whoa. Tell me, me everything that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm medium endurance. I'm different physically and mentally. <laughs> physically, I feel like I'm pretty good at endurance, but mentally I'm out. Physical um. endurance. I really want to say that I'm like medium to high, but then I do remember doing cross country running with like in grade six and just being like, you're still going to everyone. Oh, yeah. There's always that kid that's like a mile in front of everyone. That's, like, and he's like talking not to you. Not sweating. Yeah. So I'm saying medium. I'm going to say medium too. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm really sad because I'm low. Hi. Oh, he lasts forever. Fudge. It says, consider the following. Rowing, skiing, football. <laughs> I've done none of those. Like I what? think I'm low. I think I'm low. Whenever I work out, I'm like, nothing's happening. No, you know when you get inspired and you're like, I'm going to lift weights and be buff tomorrow. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, I guess I'll start with 90. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I get no, uh, nothing, no results. It says I'm hot, low. Ah! I'm a jock! Yeah, I'm I run away from the bear, you fight the bear. <laughs> I dance all the time, I'm just high dance, dance, dance. If it says that I'm gifted in dance, I'm gonna be so depressed because I'm gonna be like, my parents, I didn't wanna play piano, I should've been in dance. So know what I'm actually saying, I think I'm gifted in music and dance and I just am sad I didn't pursue that. Oh my god, <laughs> it's never too late. Really oh, awesome. oh, music? I would say, yes, gifted. Just because like I did it from a really young age. Yeah. And it came naturally. Dance, I would love to think so. Dancing ability, normal. Normal. Adds up. <laughs> <laughs> this is not fair. It says that I'm gifted at music. Oh my gosh. And it says you're not. And it says I'm not. Oh my Just goes to show, if you put your mind to something. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank my mom and my dad for putting me in piano. It was the right thing to do. I didn't want to actually be in dance. <laughs> the people who succeed in singing are just the ones that like work the hardest. Yeah. And, and like get the most creative with how to navigate the business. The moment we've been waiting for. So like I went to Scotland once and my dad was like, get the tartan. And I was like, we're Scottish. I have no idea. Yeah. I feel like German. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god, they're identical. I'm 98.81% European. Oh my god. 
You're you're whiter than me by 0.4 percent. Oh my god! <laughs> so I'm, I'm 98.45 percent. Eastern European. 40 percent Eastern. Uh, my most is Northwestern European. They are Scottish. We're very Scottish. similar. I honestly think it just feels bad for us and it's trying to give us something else other than European because it says I'm 1.19 percent African. Okay, we're white. We knew that, and we could we're be white. related. We knew that. <laughs> you look at us. I feel more like more. A I was starting to feel less until we yeah. saw the chart, but yeah, I was like, yeah. we are fully. Yeah. The same and person. I do feel like your vibe. I'm just like. Having so much fun. And we have, we have similar energies. Yeah, and we both do this. We both do this. <laughs> <laughs> we will live here. So Scott and I are freakishly similar. It was honestly super weird to be in his presence. I thought like his humor was similar to mine. And based on the ancestry, like who knows? We could have been related far, 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 far back. But of course, we are not identical, but we do look so similar. Some studies find your face could be similar to one in 100,000 people. Other studies say we'd need 150 billion people for statistically everyone to have a doppelganger, but still, many of you have one. Dun, dun, dun. You just gotta like make TikToks and maybe people in the comments will find them for you. And I'm sure some of you are saying, you know, me and Scott aren't exact doppelgangers, but there are people out there who do look more identical. And according to statistics, the probability of a face being the same is similar to your fingertips. One study found there's a one in a trillion chance that you have the same face as someone else, which means right now on earth, it's likely impossible. And people who clock that Scott and I don't look alike at all may have more brain firing and neurons in regions of the brain which involve attention to detail. Also, depending on how well you know each of us, you may begin to see the differences like when you first meet twins, but over time you get to know them and they start to look different. It was a very weird experience to be around someone who looked so much like me and I felt kind of acted like me. And I felt like I got a unique experience into what it might be like to hang out with myself. <laughs> you do likely look similar enough to someone on this earth that if you both were in similar contexts, the facial recognition neurons of other people would make you seem the same as that person. This is what a doppelganger is. It does not mean that you're necessarily identical, but based on biology and science, there's a chance that many people out there could mix you up for someone else. My friends all know I love to bike all over Toronto and I'm a white guy with a beard. There's lots of us in Toronto. And the amount of times that my friends are like, just saw you on a bike. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. I'm actually at my parents on the couch. It's the context of the bike going so freaking fast that they couldn't really get a close look that tricks your brain into thinking I'm on the bike. If you want to DNA test yourself, make sure you click the link below and next time, maybe we'll swap Scott in for me and you won't even freaking notice, okay? Make sure you're subscribed because more science videos are coming your way, I'll so peace.